Good morning, everyone. We don't have to tell you how important landscapes are, healthy landscapes. We, don't ha we also don't have to tell you um, that there's an urgent need to scale up landscape restoration. So what we do want to talk about is how to involve the private sector and how there is a need um, for chief ecosystems in the board of large corporations. And we want to share uh, a bit of our experience into uh, developing uh, education for this in the business school. My name is Eva Roth. I work for Rotterdam School of Management, Erasmus University, one of Europe's um, finest business schools. Oh, good morning, everybody. My name is uh, Simon Molenaar. I work for Common Land. Common Land applies uh, business-driven landscape restoration projects, and we design uh, sustainable business models with four returns, return of inspiration, return of social capital, return of natural capital, and return of financial capital. So, Eva, you're working at the business school, mm -hmm. and you're working with business and business education, and we are working on landscape restoration. And can you explain why the private sector should be involved in landscape restoration? Sure. Well, given the, the gigantic investments that are needed to scale up landscape restoration, it's clear that we cannot do that without the private sector. But also we need their vision, their entrepreneurial skills, and their financial resources to join us in um, tackling this challenge. Okay, I understand. But what's in it for the private sector itself? Well, luckily there is a growing recognition that um, uh, a healthy business depends completely on healthy and resilient communities and ecosystems, thus healthy landscapes. Yeah, okay. So the challenge is to lay the following puzzle. On the one hand, we want to restore landscapes, and on the other hand, we want to involve the private sector and get them uh, adopting a landscape approach and at the same time also invest in landscape restoration. So how do you go about it? What, what would you propose? Well, when we say there is a need for CEOs, chief ecosystems officers, we mean that uh, business students and business professionals should have the knowledge and the capacity to, br to bridge economy and ecology. Um, uh, in order to design business models um, that deliver multiple values, like you just said, financial, social, um, and natural uh, values. So in short, we need people who can turn businesses into forces for positive change. Okay, that's very challenging. And how can we make that happen? Well, as uh, educators of, uh, of students, we feel that uh, business schools have a responsibility to take care. Um, we, we, we would like to educate and equip our, our business students with sufficient knowledge of ecosystems and landscapes. And that's not easy, but it is the only way we think to tackle one of the grand challenges of our time. Okay, so you say it's not easy, so it's challenging. And what would be your strategy then? Well, what we've been working on is um, exploring how we can embed this into the curriculum of, um, of a business school. Um, we have provided guest lectures, we've, signed, uh, we've um, organized case competitions, and we even have a course in one of our master programs called Landscape Restoration um, for, what is, it, what is it called again, Simon, you're a teacher there. Sustainable Grand Challenges. Sustainable Grand Challenges. Um, and the funny thing is that uh, students are first surprised and they, they feel like, what does soil or what does ecosystems, what a landscape has to do with my business focus, I want to make money. But once they get it, they get really enthusiastic and they feel that they found a purpose. So they kept asking for more, which is why we uh, started to look for partners and asked for funding by, um, by the European Union. And we were really happy that last year we were granted to launch uh, the ENABLE Consortium. ENABLE stands for European Network for the Advancement of Business and Landscape Education. That's very interesting. So what's ENABLE planning to do? What will be the focus of ENABLE? Well, ENABLE is a consortium of practitioners like Commonland, uh, teachers, researchers, um, and trainers. And what we want is we want to inspire business professionals, students, uh, and, and students to, um, to join us in, uh, in restoring landscapes based on a business approach. And uh, in May this year, we launched our first MOOC called... Um, yeah, next slide. Okay, <laughs> the MOOC. Our first MOOC called Landscape Restoration for Sustainable Development. It's uh, available on Coursera, it's free to take, and over 1,500 uh, people have already uh, enrolled in it. 
by the way, what is a MOOC? What, what does it stand for? <laughs> yeah, a MOOC is a massive online open course. All right, thank you. Yeah, and in this MOOC we um, we provide the basics of ecosystems, land degradation, economic valuation of ecosystem services, but also wicked problems, uh, sustainable business modeling, and partnership dynamics. Okay, so there's a lot involved in that MOOC, but what's next? Will there be next steps for Enable? Yep, sure. We are about to develop a second MOOC, and we are looking for partners who have cases and approaches um, that we can address in this MOOC. So if you want to join us, then please uh, approach us. And we're also looking for people who want to join us into a what we call management for meaning. Um, so to help us engage the private sector into um, sustainable land management. Okay, so to sum up, um, we want to uh, work on the restoration economy and we want to do so by mainstreaming um, a new kind of business curriculum within business education to really educate and equip the next generation of business professionals but also landscape professionals to be involved in landscape approaches, landscape management with multiple returns. Is that right? Perfect. So we really want to uh, engage people in a holistic view on our uh, yeah, society and involving business and combining economy and ecology. Yeah. Well, thank you for your attention and happy to meet after the meeting. Yeah. Thank you.